Hey guys, welcome back. And today we have something a little bit crazy. So, let's get right on into it. Swag, bitch. So, I have two John Deere from the mid-1960s to the mid-1970s. Uh, John Deere tractors. One tenths. They're both one tenths. I think they're both the same year. This one's going to be a, well, sort of a parts one for that one right now. But this frame is going to be something else eventually. So I'm working on uh, getting it all stripped down and getting everything off. Uh, I don't have a grinder right now, so I have to use a drill to break this off to get this off here. But, uh, yeah. So... One of these motors do run. It's not this one. It's that one over there. That's why I have it covered up with a different kind of hood. But, um, yeah, so the plan for this one is to become either a sort of 50-50 mud mower or, you know, just something to dig around on. But one or the other, these things are going to be fun when they're done. But, uh, right now, I, as you can see, they don't have back tires. They were supposed to have at least one set of back tires. Well, I got rims and tires from this guy, which he was pretty yo, cool about it. Um, but yeah. So, I'm working on this because uh, right now, the um, other guy is pretty messed up. The Allison Chambers, or Ch Chambers. I forget, I forget the pronunciation of it, but it's one or the other. So I got these two guys right here. Right now I'm getting the back panel off. And I already took off the gas tank. It's rusted out. So that's no good. Um, but yeah. These two guys should be pretty fun when they're done. So. Um, that's all for right now. Until I have more later on. And I will see you guys in the next video. Well, in the next clip. So after further examination of the rear here. We have... Apparently not that many gears because when you Because when I engage my other rear that I have because this is gonna be first That pulley doesn't really work down here You can move it and it looks like it does engage to some Capacity, but it's like right here and then right here. It doesn't want to go into gear but Right here it goes in the gear and right there it goes in the gear But nothing over here. So it's like I know that's First or something then you have to go over and if you go up and over it's hard to get into gear so I'm not too sure if this rear is shot it might be so I'll figure it out somewhere along the line but I was able to get that off after I cut both arms off the side here that arm and that arm the engine bolts I did take out uh, the panels pretty actually pretty heavy duty I like it Nice good steel. So I guess it's decent. If I used it on a go kart, that'd be cool as shit. Like I'm thinking, this would be the seat area, and then your that would just be like sides for like holding your feet or something. And then your motor would be up under here with that, and you would sit on that as well. But I haven't really thought of anything yet. But this one, the frame, this is all that I need. So, but. After some further examination, I do have to make some simple modifications, but not, not too many. The thing, all I know is, man, damn, this thing is heavy duty as shit. But I'm hoping I can get my Allison Chambers running soon. This guy. This guy's going to be fun when it's all said and done. Alrighty. That was the, um, that was the second clip, so I will see you guys all in my next video. Hopefully... I have some more process done on this or the Allison Chambers. Don't know what's coming next, but you'll find yeah, out. It's currently the fourth, and I already have the tractor ripped apart. So we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. The motor's off, but it's just like hanging in there because of a spring. So once I get the spring off the motor, that motor's coming straight out. And then I figure up a pulley, up, pull, uh, pull, pulley system to connect the rears together. And then I want to throw my super swampers I have that I got for free on here and uh, get all this shit checked out. 
But that's what I just wanted to show you guys for right now. It's a three bolt system to get the rear out of this tractor. So that's pretty easy. All right. I will see you guys in the next Today video. Today here, uh, in this next clip, uh, we have here the John Deere 110 rear with the pulley with three um, triangle pattern bolts. Pulley is held up pretty well. Uh, bolts came right out just by like hand tight. Uh, the only problem I'm having right now is I see this is on a three quarter inch shaft and it won't come off. So what I'm going to try to do is put a little drill bit in here and spin it with the drill that I have right here and see if I can get it to show us something. I know it does change gears but it's like a certain position everything has to go in. So that's like fourth. That's like that's this is second. This would be down here is like third. But I don't know if it's engaging in the third. I know that's fourth because I can hear it go in the fourth. And then this all the way up here is first. Second. Third. Fourth. But everything else I'm not too sure of. Until I get a proper um, movement on this. So, we'll see. Okay, so here we are. I just dropped the engine out of this beautiful machine. Uh, a little bit confused on some parts here, but uh, I have to get uh, better acquainted with all this. Um, a little bit deterred because I'm a little confused where everything's starting to go, and it's like a little confusing for me. But as far as I know, I'm leaving this on here. I think this is the clutch, basically for the brake and for the um, back of the rear. Where you're sitting over there, nice and pretty, right? Right? Yeah, right. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this drop plate and I'm going to drop it way down. And then I'll figure out a new braking system for this. In the meantime, I will have to figure you out. But uh, until then, then uh, we'll, we'll just be going off of what we have. If uh, planes start to come a little too complicated, well, then I will go to a bigger and better solution but that's up front there that looks pretty cool to me that's gonna stay up front there steering might have to change but that's about it all right i'll see you guys in the next Great. part so right now what we have here is the bottom plate of where the rear hooks up to in the john deere 110 so the idea is putting two 36 inches long pieces cut off they're not angled properly but once I pull this up and tack weld each one of them they will be perfectly together but until that moment I will be doing it hands free so you will see the process of what's gonna happen basically these two 36 inch pieces are gonna go up underneath where this piece goes and they're gonna get tack welded or bolted in haven't decided which one I'm gonna do yet or which one's gonna be easier for Repair and fixing. But who knows. I had a gr good grind it off for a surface. So I'm hoping the weld stay good. Other than that, we're going to wing it. So we'll see how it goes. I'll be back here after I'm done okay, welding. So this is after I weld it. Look at them pieces. They're pretty damn straight. If I stand from the far back, they look pretty damn straight. You can see all my weld. You can barely see any of them. Rivet laps. Yeah, that's one I got kind of messy on. But most of them just came out perfect. That one I sort of went way too far off on line. But I got them all pretty well welded. All pretty well damned and important. All fabricated up. So now it's just I need to put it into here. And that's the complicated one. Whether I bolt into those bolts or weld it or tack weld it. Depending on whether what I do. I just found out those tractor tires over there. That are decent tread on them. I might be going on these little rims right here. So and even if I get it as a roller, I wouldn't I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too bad. Wouldn't be too it wouldn't be that bad for me. 
because I can always figure something else out to do. But it seems like a fun project. Look how long and tall that thing is. Woo! So right now it's all craned up. Uh, don't worry about that because we're not going to be worried about that. We're going to worry about this. So we're going to find out what's going to happen right now. And let me put you on pulse for a second, guys. Okay. So now my team's are tracking is running. We're going to lately pick up. See if I can spin this this way. There we go. And oh, that's it. That's all I can go. And I got this safety line right here that I gotta put. Um, I'm gonna put this probably to the. I'm thinking about right here on the bucket. So I'm going to jack it down and put it down and pick it back up. Well, that did not work, so let's just pick it up again. That works. So it's up in the air. So I'll get it even further eventually. But it's up. It's free swinging on its own weight. That's pretty well so this one sticks out maybe a quarter quarter of an inch off the side there so as you can see there it sticks off pretty good I got this to bolt up flat I got this to bolt up flat but these were the real impossible ones this bolt I kept having stripped down on me every time but I'm glad I got something flat to flat even though I knew it was never gonna be flat flat I was trying for it and my ratchet strip broke trying to push these two together but I got them enough to where I couldn't get them inside but I could get them on the outside so that's not worried so if this does become a permanent thing jacked all the way up I might as well just put some t some welds on the back here and maybe weld the piece on the here and then say F it but um, from there I was gonna put the rear on it tonight but I couldn't get to the front quick enough. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to rip the front of it off. And then go from there. As I have this thing jacked up like a monster truck. And I just realized that I'm going up another 3 inches with the tires that I have on my rear. So it's going to be interesting. But I have to see where I have to put the rear on and then put the front tires. Which are the tra trailer tires over there so that's my um dilemma right now but i'm tired and i gotta put my straps away they worked out very well i'm happy with my tractor i love you buddy i had to replace the clutch in that i don't have any videos on that otherwise i would post that up because i love that tractor to death but this side is seized with steering so i can't really do anything with that this side is not seized so right now I have to work on getting that side unseized and figure out a um a means of uh steering. Which I might just do like a go-kart chef steering. Or go-kart or golf cart. Why do I keep saying go-kart when I mean golf cart? What the hell? I don't know. There's something, there's something wrong with me. <laughs> so yeah. Alright, well, I will see you guys in the next part. Okay, so as you can see here, I have a lot of work. Now, this took me about maybe two months to do all these videos to get just part one. And as you can see, it took a lot of process for me. It, it was just, it wasn't me not able to have time. It was me more or less having to work and not be dying because of the heat and humidity that I had to face while doing some of the stuff and while not doing some of the stuff. So, um, right now I'm on part two. I'm more than halfway done the process. Half. I could say that with half. I'm not near the end strip by a long shot, but I'm not in the beginning anymore. 
I'm in the middle right now. I've got a lot left to do, a lot to figure out, and once I get it to where it's a roller, I will be putting up a thumbnail for this video, for this this video, because I know this is a big thing that people are going to want to see, and I hope you guys enjoy it, because I've enjoyed the process immensely. It's gotten my mind thinking about tons of other things, and just being all there and it's so interesting because I posted a picture on Instagram. So he's like, man, it's way too tall. And then this guy that built his own, he's like, I would only do like 10 inches. That's like way too tall, bud. I'm like, you do you. So the only process that I have right now to find out is this bolt. This bolt right here is for the rear itself, for the, look, for the tires to go on. And I have to do that. And uh, figuring out how to um, put the tires back on because the bead's not seated right or it's leaking from the rim. I have to figure out how to fix that. Um, which I'm thinking about either fix a flat or slime or something. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to take a tire off and reseat it or something. Or take it to an actual place to get it reseated. Because with this. But um, right now I have the front, um, the front ripped off. Uh, the front's not drop down or anything I'm still figuring on that how I've, how I'm going to do it I've got an idea of like how I'm going to do it but it's all on the basis will it be safe enough and will it be structured enough to hold but um until such time I'm going to f keep going to the drawing board and keep examining what I have and what I don't have and figure out something from there this project will be probably one of my best and probably one of my last of doing this. But uh, I figured out easier ways to do things now that I'm doing it. So I might do a little regular lawnmower instead of a lawn tractor because, oh my God, things like over 600 pounds, just stock. Now it's going to be like twice, well, not twice, probably about in the same range as 600 pounds because the rear is about 150 by itself. Engines another, um, I think seventy five pounds, and then just the whole frame itself is like two to three hundred. Like when that thing was bare bone, I could barely lift it. The front um axle where I had the tires going on, that is honestly about all solid cast iron steel. So it's it's insane how heavy it is. It's it's wow. But um, me looking back at these videos now, it's like I've gotten a lot done that I could say I'm in the halfway process. Um, there's a lot left to do, so eventually it will be going to some car shows if I paint it, because it will be pretty. It would be pretty nice to see. Oh my God! What the hell is that? You know, stuff like that. <laughs> but um, yeah. So uh, I won't bother you guys too much, but. If you made it to this end of the video, I appreciate it. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy the process, and I hope that I have a lot more parts left, uh, probably four or five, maybe, at least. Um, but uh, I'm not posting this video until I have a thumbnail. So if it's posted, you'll see a thumbnail. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy. I will see you guys in the next Video. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.